a very adventurous teenager, and every Thursday I decided in the afternoon I wouldn't go to school because it only cost a nickel. I lived uh, in Astoria to get to Manhattan, and I decided I would like to investigate the borough. So every week I did another section. And it was amazing. I went to Chinatown and, and uh, Harlem and every place. I go in and out of all the shops, and there was one place that absolutely fascinated me. I had to go down a flight of steps. It was really a basement. But to me, it was an Aladdin's cave. There was this little old gentleman who uh, evidently was bereft. He had great style, though. I mean, he didn't have any money, but he had always wore this wonderful morning suit. It was all frayed, but he always had a carnation, and he wore spats, and I just thought, and he had a monocle. And I thought he was a living end. And he was totally knocked out with me because he never saw a kid like me before. And he thought, oh my God. He treated me like I was a mini duchess. And I just loved him. And I always wanted to buy something, but I never had any money. So finally I saved a few pennies. It was the height of the Depression. Very old. <laughs> and I found this wonderful piece. At least I thought it, it was a, a button about so big. And it, it had a high gallery. It was filigree. So finally we haggled back and forth and he gave it to me for 65 cents. Wow. And that was a king's ransom. Anyway, I have it to this day, and that was the start of my costume jewelry collection.